Hello and welcome back to BZP Network. Now I told you that I'll be talking about a blog and I wanted to show you live what I'm doing. Now, what is a blog? A blog is a personal website or web page on which an individual records opinions, links to other links to other sites, etc. on a regular basis. Now everything that has a present always has its past, where when it began. Now the first person to blog ever was Swarthmore student Justin Hall in January '94, December '97, online diarist John Baga coins the term weblog for logging the web. April '99, programmer Peter Warehouse shortens weblog to blog, now you know, as we know it. Blogger was on the first popular free blog creation service in 1999 in August, and January 2000, Boing Boing is born. Now, in blogging sense uh, as you can see this is a history and i also wanted to tell you that google adsense was born in 2003 in june now enough about the history now reasons why you should start a blog 10 reasons why I should you should start a blog one to become a better writer two to gain confidence three to connect with others to find your voice to share yours and others work to position yourself as an expert attract new clients, have a documentation of your life, find clarity around your thoughts and intentions, help and inspire others. I've give, just given you 10 reasons why you should start a blog. Now, the other reasons why you should not start a blog. One, you have no idea what you're talking about. You have no clue about blogs, what they're all about. Three, you take it personally or maybe you take it too seriously. Now, this comes to the mindset of criticism. Everywhere you go online, everywhere you go, even on your day-to-day -day life, you'll find critics. Critics are there and forever remain there. So if you're not open-minded, you will, you will not succeed in blogging. Now, audience. It says here that speaking of audiences, do you know who your audience is? Do you know who you're talking to? Don't start blogging until you do. Because your audience isn't any and everyone. You can't possibly know what to say. You don't know who you're saying it to. This all comes back down for me on content. What is it that you're blogging about? And it all came to have you have no idea what you're talking about. If you have no idea what you want to talk about, don't start a blog. Now, according to todaymate.com the number one reason why you should not blog is you have no intention of doing anything with it uh this i would illustrate it in a point that you have already created a blog but you don't really have that goal of what you want to do with your blog for example if i was to create a blog or if i actually i have a blog on tumblr and the reason why I created my blog is to market my YouTube channel. As you can see, I have a goal. Why do I want to, to start a blog? Now, I'll highlight some of the reasons as we finish the video. And I just want, I wanted to explain one thing about blogging is that if you're starting to blog or if you're starting a blog, don't think of it like something that is boring or you're just writing and so on and so forth think of it something like you are happy to do it you're happy to blog you're happy to you're happy to share your ideas with other people don't think of it so much as a job because it's yes i might i must say that it is hard work but if you take on it with a positive attitude trust me you'll get far now a quote i love saying is that your desire, in order to succeed, your desire to succeed should be greater than your fear of failure. If you keep on quoting that every day, like me, you'll get somewhere. So, I'll highlight a few reasons why you should start a blog and why you should not start a blog in non-detailed form. Thank you very much and I hope that you enjoyed this. And at the end of this tutorial, I shall you shall see some tips and of what we have talked about a recap of what we have talked about so thank you so much